Using the spinner below, what is the probability of landing on a multiple of three? To determine the probability of an event, we compare the favorable number of outcomes to the total number of outcomes. So for the probability of landing on a multiple of three, let's first consider the total number of outcomes. Well, looking at the spinner, notice how there are eight equal size sections numbered from one through eight, and therefore there are eight total outcomes. And now to determine the favorable number of outcomes, we want to determine how many of these are multiples of three. So three is a multiple of three. The next multiple of three would be six. The next multiple of three would be nine, but there is no nine. So notice how there are only two favorable outcomes, three and six, and therefore the probability of landing on a multiple of three is two eighths and two eighths does simplify. We have a common factor of two. Two eighths simplifies to one fourth. We often see probability expressed as a decimal or a percentage, so let's also show those. We should recognize one fourth is equivalent to twenty-five hundredths or zero point two five. Of course, if we don't recognize this, we can convert a fraction to a decimal by dividing. One divided by four is equal to .25. And now to convert to a percentage, we multiply by 100 and add a percent sign, or move the decimal point to the right two places and add a percent sign. So this is equal to 25%. So if the probability is one-fourth, this means theoretically we expect to land on a multiple of three one out of every four spins. As a percentage, we expect to land on a multiple of three 25% of the time, or 25 times out of 100. I hope you found this helpful.